Hey guys, good morning. My name is John Bakelmans. I am a CTO in Cisco's IoT Solutions Group. And today we're going to talk about the Cisco Digital Ceiling. And it's a, a very exciting innovation we actually are launching uh, this week here at Cisco Live in Berlin. Um, so watch this space. I'm going to give it a little bit of introduction because I want to make sure that you understand the, the bigger picture of where this is all fitting in. And then my colleague, John Perello, is going to actually help me with a lot of very deep engineering content, just to make sure you've got the entire capabilities around it. What is happening around Internet of Things, I, I'm sure you guys all are aware what's happening around and outside, and especially around city digitization uh, and around things happening on the outdoor space. We believe it's time to also do something on the indoor space, in the enterprise space. And a lot of that is actually being triggered by something happening in lighting above our heads. Because lighting is being disrupted as we speak. Lighting was, up until now, very analog. And lighting will become and is becoming digital in nature. And it's very simple. The reason why it's happening is because lighting is actually a place where you know, um, there's been a lot of innovation around LED lighting. And because of the cost and because of the increased efficiencies of about 20% year over year, it's time now to connect the lights to the network and to get the network to power lights. And that's what we are doing in the first wave. But it's not just that. We're actually building something bigger around total convergence. We believe it starts with lighting. We believe that the ceiling will actually be disrupted around lighting first. But we also see that there is a lot of movement in the building automation space to actually make a lot of building automation capabilities, whether they are sensors, whether they are actuators. Actually, they are moving also to native IP endpoints. And so wave one in lighting, wave two in building automation, is really bringing a lot of convergence together inside of a building. And that convergence, we are calling the Cisco Digital Ceiling. And so it starts with lighting. I told you about that, and you're going to hear a lot more about that from John as he speaks about what have we done in the network to actually support lighting as an initial capability around the digital ceiling. But it will continue in wave two around building automation. Because it's very clear, and you'll hear about it from John, lighting, and in the initial phases of lighting, a lot of the luminaires who, are be now, who will be now network powered and connected will also have, by default, a lot of sensors in them. And those sensors are now bridging the gap between, on one side, the lighting domain, and on the other side, the building automation domain. And you'll see that a lot of innovation will come from the building automation players around native IP capabilities. Now, you also need other people to help you with that transition. You need people who, if there are luminaire or lighting providers who are only having analog capabilities and they want to move into this digital space, how can you help them giving them like a reference design or a board to plug onto their existing capabilities and bring them into that digital age? And that's what we talk about with these enablers. There's a number of companies we are actually partnering with who are making help they're helping players to make a transition from analog to digital. And then last but not least, once you have all that new capability into your ceiling, once you can think about all of these sensors generating a lot of data within your ceiling, you need people who can take advantage of that. So there is, uh, there is, there is a space for people in the ISV community to create new applications on top of your ceiling to create new capabilities and to create especially apps on your mobile phone to go and interact with capabilities inside of your digital ceiling. And that's the ISV space. Together, those four domains will constitute the first phase of what we call the digital ceiling. And you'll see us focusing hard around connected lighting initially, because we believe that connected lighting is really the phase a lot of this innovation is in today. A lot of these enterprises are in today. And a lot of these enterprises, hospitality, retail capabilities are actually moving around lighting at this point of the game. So let me give you the high level architecture. 
And then John will dive into the lower levels and what we've done from a network perspective. So you can see that digital ceiling by default is actually centered around two areas. It's centered around the luminaires. The luminaires have on one side the lights itself, but on the other side they will also embed sensor capabilities. And those sensor capabilities can be by default a number of sensors like presence sensors, daylight harvesting sensors, temperature sensors. Some vendors will have pluggable sensor slots into those luminaires. But at the same time, you can see that from a building automation perspective, especially around heating or cooling, you'll see a lot of capabilities ending up IP natively enabled. <coughs> and that's the big move. Finally, I think IPv6 within buildings is gonna come to life in a big way because all of these are IPv6 direct natively enabled as such. And they all, of course, connect to the network. The lighting connects to the network, not just for the data path, but also for the power, because PoE is the way now to power those lights. And we believe that it's not just gonna be lighting. We believe that things like variable air valve controllers in buildings from an automation perspective will also be uh, good enough to actually get that power from the network directly and actually constitute the network as the platform giving power and data across that entire digital ceiling. Of course, we want to open it up. We want to make it standards-based, and we want to get people to create new applications on top of the digital ceiling. And that's why, of course, bringing the data to a cloud or bringing the data via an API and SDK to other people to create new applications on top of the digital ceiling is really what it's all about. And that's why um, it's a very important part of what we are enabling as Cisco inside of digital ceiling.